He's not going down without a fight. I know him. What did I say? What's up everybody, Triple Ben Gaming here. Just want to say welcome to a brand new video and a brand new game. Today we're playing God's Rush, which is the newest game released by IGG. Some of you may know it by uh, the full name I Got Games. And yes, they're the ones behind the amazing tower defense game Castle Clash. And yes, as you may be guessing, this is taking place in ancient Greece. This is a turn-based RPG free-to-play on Android and iOS. And uh, for all RPG fans and history fans, you guys are gonna have a blast. I'm a history freak myself, especially when it comes to ancient myths and legend. So in a few words, God's Rush is as smooth as Zeus is with the ladies. The game has a lot of playability and quick warning, it's very addictive. So don't say I didn't warn you and let's do this. So in the very beginning of the game we are greeted by Chris's, the very pretty Chris's. Well, I do think so. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you do think she's pretty or not. That's fine too. So Chris's is uh, a Trojan woman from Greek mythology. And uh, you're given basically your starting team made out of three heroes or I should say three basic heroes. But I'm going to do something that I've always wanted to do, which is travel in the future. So I'm going to take you guys and fast forward a few dozen levels in the future. Uh -hoop. So here we are at level 32. If you guys are wondering, how did I get that superpower? That's one of the few perks of hanging out with the gods in God's Rush. So I'm just going to show you real quick some of the main game functions. So here we are at the portal which unlocks at level 14. You can go in twice a day for some great rewards and uh, there are new challenges that will be unlocked the higher you level up. And right now we're looking at the battle mode which is where the main story takes place. And we're gonna move on to the mailbox, you guessed it, that's where you get to uh, read all about the new events and claim your rewards and so far the developers have been super super generous so shout out to you guys thank you for being very nice to us the players moving on next is the spring we have two kinds of lucky springs here the boy which you get five free draws per day and here we just got a wisdom cake which is used to earn xp for your hero and this is aphrodite's spring and you get one free draw every, uh, I believe, 48 hours. Next is a gauntlet, which unlocks at level 30. And with 15 stages, this is sort of a how far can you go kind of challenge. And the deeper you go, the cooler are the rewards. And I'm just going to collect real quick uh, my daily quest reward. Sweet. Done and done. And it is time to go to the battle mode. And uh, so I can show you guys some of the main story and how, how the battle system works out and uh, etc. So here we are at the first stage of the main story, the runes. So I have six heroes total, but uh, you can only use five. And I'm using two in the middle, uh, no sorry, two in the front, one in the middle and two at the back. So there is a little bit of uh, strategy elements into it. Each hero has uh, some special attacks or special powers. And right now I'm using the auto battle mode, which you can only unlock after you complete the level uh, one time, I believe. And done with the first level, the runes. A quick victory dance. <laughs> three stars. You get three stars by without having any of your heroes uh, dying. Let's do one more before moving on to the arena. So there are a couple of ways to acquire new heroes to your team and also a couple of ways to increase their uh, experience, to level them up, etc. We'll get more into that in the next episodes. At this episode is more of a main introduction and the last stage of the second level. Go for it, Leandra. That a girl. And done. And one more victory dance. <laughs> Loving it. 
So your team members acquire experience points after the completion of each level and then at the bottom you can see uh, some of the loots we just got. And let's go to the arena, fight some uh, PvP, player versus player. So in the arena you fight other players and uh, the more you win the higher your rank is and the higher your rank is the more credits you get per hour and you can use those credits, you can redeem sorry, those credits to get some uh, quite valuable items or uh, hero uh, pieces and uh, that is one of the ways to get the heroes, you collect the pieces for instance uh, I believe Hades had about 30 pieces if I'm not mistaken so once you collect 30 pieces of Hades then you can uh, acquire Hades as a hero to your team so here we are fighting a sort of a mirror reflection of our own team this guy has the exact same composition but uh, I have faith <laughs> let's do this let's kick some butt and we just lost two members of our own team and Achilles is in danger but he's not going down without a fight I know him what did I say <laughs> well done buddy and we're left with two Hades and uh, Crisis and I believe we're gonna win this one come on guys show them some of the triple Ben gaming magic Come on guys, there are people watching you, don't let me down! Come on Hades! Booyah! I think this is in the books. Is it in the books? Wait for it! Wait for it! And it's in the books. And that will wrap up our first episode of God's Rush walkthrough and guide. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions, questions, or you just want to say hi. I always appreciate you guys' feedback. You can also check out some of my other videos and I would love to have you subscribe as well. And until next time, keep playing.